Hey guys, my name is Stefan Bond School, and today we're playing the Undercover Brawler here in Splatoon 3. If you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure to like, subscribe, all that cool stuff. Tell me your opinions on this weapon down below, and let's get right on into it. Now, quick disclaimer. When I first made the poll last week on which weapon I should play, I put up the Sorella Undercover Brella, which I didn't realize had the splatter color screen on it. Now, I've been avoiding the splatter color screen for a while, and I heard like a month or two ago that it had got some updates, and I actually even got him better. And then I heard that there was a tournament that unbanned it. I don't know much about the information. I know there's a whole bunch of drama behind it. I'm not touching that kind of shit. But I dug a little bit deeper into uh, what the community is saying about it. And while a lot of the community is saying there have been a lot of positive changes about it, specifically visually, there are a lot of auditory issues for a lot of other people with sensory issues. And as such, I'm not touching it more than I have. I don't ethically feel comfortable with that, accidentally causing other people discomfort or pain. And especially how quickly that thing could come out, I don't feel like it's a good idea. So I'm gonna actually do the undercover barrel here, and my apologies for putting up the wrong weapon during the actual pull. Uh, I'll make it up to you guys uh, by playing the same main weapon, different kit. So <laughs> let's have some fun. Alright, let's get to the gozies. Oh my god, I'm loving seeing Tristringer take more of an active role in the uh, in the meta. Like I'm loving people's I'm loving seeing people with more Tristringer more often. It is my favorite weapon by far, and I I love seeing it happen. I'm seeing more and more people come out with that Tristringer. I'm like, ah oh, yes, so good. So good. I'm and I'm not sure how I feel about the undercover Brella in sincerity, primarily because um, I prefer the mobile tank of the Tentabrella, but at the same time, I do have kind of like a, a, an ability to be really mobile here um, in a very different sense. Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was this dude was waiting for me. I don't think I could like one shot anyone. I think I got to do a lot of chip damage. So I'm gonna have to do like a lot of like assisting for splats. But like, I just got like a straight up shot on that guy and that did not splat them. I wonder how much damage I actually do. I think I, I don't think I'd probably do much. I don't imagine this weapon doing a lot of damage. I know I can survive at least a few hits of this weapon when I'm doing tri string and I have a chance to run away. So like, I'm not so worried about that in all reality. Yeah, that was three shots, basically front and center, and I took a lot to splat that person. But my uh, special charges up pretty quickly, honestly. Um, so what am I seeing here that you need? Um, I don't think you necessarily need special charger. However, it is nice to have some mines out as a little bit of defense. Oh god, god damn it, god damn it! I thought it might go up. I thought it might go up and over. It did not. It did not. Big Ripper Roonies, baby. That was like three shots pretty much directly on. This is very shotgunny. You're not gonna hit, you're not gonna get full damage. Immediately, you don't have a lot of time to really run. Um, actually, thermal ink's not too bad on this weapon. Now that I'm seeing, I kind of like I can keep track of the opponents here. See where they're going. It's not too bad, but like I think I feel like there's still gonna be like a lot better choices than thermal ink to put on this weapon. I feel like there's a lot better choice than Thermal Link to put on this weapon. This is this is a weapon that you need to be tagged with, teamed up with someone who's going to do a lot of damage. And you're just there to kind of provide a little bit of backup, get some chip damage in there, and do some more uh, damage. You have all those assists in there. That's kind of what I feel for this weapon. I feel like this is a very big assisting weapon. Not per se a splatting weapon. It's good for painting, but other than that, you know. 
All right, let's get right back into it. What do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? We got Link on our team, baby. Let's go. If Link isn't using... Oh, man, Link's not using a sword. That's a shame. Two, two undercover Brellas. Let's go. Sager? I do not know how to pronounce that name. That arrow spray already has their special. God damn. Nice. That probably scared the shit out of some people. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got I got cornered really good. That fucking vacuum is such a good special. It really takes away your ability to move and to also escape from any, like, person using it. It's such a good special. I love that special. It is so cool. I think I think one of the Tenderbrellas has it, and I really liked it in conjunction with the Tenderbrella because it ended up being, like, super defensive. Uh, put all together. I... I'm trying to... Th yeah, this... This... This weapon needs someone accompanying it to really do that sincere amount of damage. Spotted someone! And then that fucking... Fucking vacuum comes out. God damn that vacuum. That vacuum is gonna be the end of me again. That vacuum special is dope. I love it. I think it's a great special. I think they did a great job des designing that one. There we go. I guess I can see you like chasing someone down. If someone's retreating, you might have some good luck chasing someone down with this weapon, but I don't see it being like designed for splatting. Oh, shoot. I don't see it being designed for splatting specifically. That that does not ring true my brain cells. My three whole brain cells. I didn't even say brain right there. That's how few brain cells I have, y'all. I just ran that dude over. I just ran Spence over. That's what happened. Wow, I am doing some damage though. Let's go. That was a good bit of damage done there, honestly. Come back here. Oh, shoot. They started chasing me. <laughs> I still got them. Let's go. Oh, shit. We didn't paint all of our turf. That is terrifying. How did we not get all of our own turf? How did we not get all of our own turf? Yeah, see, number one splatter sister. That's exactly what I'm expecting to get. That's exactly. What I'm expecting to be able to push and splat assist. That's what I'm getting with this weapon. All right, let's see what we got on here. Metal Fox. I just immediately think back to fucking uh, the original Super Smash Bros. or something like the last enemies are just metal versions of your like normal characters, and they were so fucking terrifying. I remember fighting like Metal Mario, Metal Fox, and Metal pretty much everyone. It was great. <laughs> it was absolutely fantastic. And back in the N64 days, those were just terrifying. Because, like, you know, Smash Bros. back then was so different than it is today. So different. Oh, God! <laughs> I got someone. But Fox got me from behind. Yeah, this is not. Yeah, this is a very big support weapon. I do not see it being. Fr it's it's pushing. I I honestly think that the fucking sub of the Sorella, which was the which was the uh, torpedo, would have been better <laughs> to help push it. Um, you know what I think could have actually made the Sorella better. Give it the uh, wave maker or the wave breaker and the torpedo, and you would have had basically the same. 
position for what that weapon wanted to be without the splatter color screen. And then it could have been fantastic for people of uh, all abilities and all sensibilities, you know? Uh, if they wanted if they wanted to provide a great crowd control pusher, they could have just taken away the splatter color screen and given the wave breaker. I think that would have made the weapon a lot better and a lot more accessible. And um provide everyone with a lot easier time with it. God damn it. Oh. This other team's they, they have two crack ons and they are being really aggressive. And a torpedo came right behind me and got me. Oh beans. Yeah, this team was really aggressive. They did really good there. I got a spot to go off at least. In my last like 1% of filling up the stage. We lost, but I got that last like 1% for a sake of pride. For a sake of pride, baby. I love that like little funky dance that the guy's doing that Helix Swings is doing. It's so good. Little funky dance. I don't know what to give this weapon because I don't know what will help this weapon be better. The sub itself is kind of fine, but like I, I, I don't care about it that much. The ink mines are fine. It'll help you track your enemies. Um, I don't know what subs to get or what, what skills to give this weapon because like I don't know if uh, walk speed helps it. I don't know if you want swim speed to get away from there. I don't know what to give it because... I, one, admittedly, I'm not great at knowing which stats do what. Two, I just... I just don't know. It's not a weapon I've played enough to really be able to know if I... Even if my normal stuff I use is like... Like, Thermal Ink can help track opponents you've only gotten a little bit of a, a hit on. And then you can use that to really, like, hunt down any opponents you're facing. But with three or four shots being your splat zone, it doesn't feel like it's worth it. This is definitely a supportive weapon, not per se an aggressive weapon. It does come out and you can like go up in front of your allies, block a shot or two, get out of there before your thing breaks. Cause that's what you'll have to do, but you know. Like watch this, ready? That was three shots point blank. And that took a lot more effort than it probably should have. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit. I missed. But partnered up with a person, I got in like two shots, you know? The partnering up is a great thing, so I don't know how to build this weapon. I actually need you guys to tell me how this weapon would be fucking built, because I do not know. Maybe maybe in the intermission between like games, I'll take a look and see what is recommended for the um, weapon. But yeah.
Of course, the, the reef slider is still fantastic. I love me the reef slider. And we have pushed these guys to the brink. Holy shit. That is brutal. That was brutal. We really pushed them far. We did good on that one, I'll say that much. We did fantastic. Mwah. We got Slim Shady on our team. Is Slim Shady's like an artist of some sort, right? <laughs> or a nickname for an artist. I don't know. Also, I, I did not have enough time between the two games to reasonably um, look up what, what sub skills or whatever would be good for this... Uh, what's the word? Weapon. <laughs> so I do not have an answer for you yet. I may not. There we go. See, that's where I feel like the uh, undercover umbrella shines. Is when you're tagged with someone who's doing the damage, and you're providing either a flank. Uh, flanking position or you are providing some backup of minor chip damage where they could get like the big the big things I'm here to like kind of like go in distract come out and let the big guns come in and really do that damage But like, that moment where I was uh, paired up with either slim shady or joker they both have the same weapon I don't know um, Was probably like, the perfect representation of what I believe this weapons strengths can be So I guess you do want to be more nimble. So like, I obviously get like a shit ton of ink resistance um, a shit ton of ink resistance is going to be important. That spot charger is just looking really good. Um, other than that, I don't know. Maybe run speed helps with the uh, umbrella movement. So, if run speed helps with the umbrella movement, like when the umbrella is deployed, get that. Um, I don't think you necessarily need like a main save or anything like that. Maybe some ink recovery, but I don't think you need a saver per se. Fear me! <laughs> I am the knight. Ninja Squid could be a lot of fun if you just kind of sneak up on people. Ninja Squid could actually work really well if you got to sneak up on people. So I will say this, Ninja Squid, Ink Resistance, and Run Speed. Uh, if Run Speed helps while your umbrella is deployed specifically. Then I think you've got a really solid set of what you need to do here. Uh, maybe a little swim speed just to make sure that you're keeping in formation with whoever needs to be kept in formation. Uh, Whatever the exact opposite of, of like the quick the quick respawn. No, get quick respawn. I was about to see whatever the opposite of like Punisher was. Um and I think you got a pretty decent set. So again. Ninja Squid. Ink resistance. Walk speed. Swim speed. I think those are your four that you want. Because you're it's all about positioning, it's all about working with your teammates, and it's all about making sure you know where and how you're going places. To provide that backup you are painting you are providing backup you are not the main splatter here on the team so i think that's where it goes oh my god 
You know what it's time for, guys? It's time for me to actually do some extra work, so I'm gonna go stream that now. Today is Sunday, and it's like 10.30 a.m., so like... Probably stream that in 30 minutes. You guys are not gonna see this because that's gonna be Monday for you guys. <laughs> and Splatfest is coming up very shortly for y'all, so... Uh, I hope you all having a fantastic day. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today. Uh, tell me your opinions down below. And hey, I do want to get more informed. If you have had negative experiences with the splatter color screen, tell me down below. If you have not, tell me down below. I know there are still a lot of people on Twitter talking about their negative experiences with it and how they will not be joining the tournaments that still that allow the splatter color screen. So I really, really do want to know. That way I can make appropriate decisions. Should I ever host tournaments myself for charity again? and understand what's going on with all the communities who are in Splatoon to be as accessible as possible. All right, guys? Thank you all very much for helping me today. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I hope you all had a good one. Stay safe. Stay bot in this cool. And, I don't know. I fucking did like three outros there. Bye, everyone! <laughs> oh.